They were chasing him down Ontario Avenue when he pulled into the gas station. And again, Chris is back, back in the hot seat. Truck that is now casting yet another chase. Freeway, guys. Good to see you, Chris. I, I also would just like to point out real quick, breaking news streaming now. They, they actually do treat this like a legitimate sport. That's wild. There's Toss in the chase. I know, I know. Heavily tinted windows. You really can't see what's inside. And we so when that no happens, I'll just go full cam. Whether there were other passengers inside, potentially even a child or a prime baby. You have no idea. We hear about these stories so often. Axelly. where somebody carjacks a vehicle with innocent people inside the car. Again, we have to remind you, this is a pickup <laughs> truck that was at the gas station, presumably being filled with gas. So we have to assume that we're working with a full tank of gas in that pickup truck. A very dangerous situation, a Thanks lot of unknowns. Squirrel. And like I said, that all of that information leads me to believe that they are going to dedicate more resources to this because the suspect behind the wheel here is obviously very dangerous, must be taken off the road. We've already seen some of that erratic driving. You can see him doing still 100 miles per hour in light traffic, but that's going to change here, of course, the further west we get on the 91 freeway, 105 miles per hour. Man, this thing really cruises. Jesus Christ. You're right. You're right. He's Thanks already coming King. up on Anaheim Hills, covering a lot of real estate in a short amount of time here, even using the shoulder to get around whatever traffic is in his way here. Again, he is on a two-lane express side of the 91 freeway. The number Thanks one and two Starship. straddling that single dotted white line there at uh, I mean this is incredible that is an accurate speed we're pushed all the way in here he is doing about a buck to maybe even 110 miles per hour here so some really dangerous speeds can't under uh, 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 score that enough just a dangerous the prime freaky here. but at these speeds we say this all the time you would much rather see it on the freeway than some of the erratic driving just that we saw in a few oh, minutes Jesus on Christ, surface Christ. streets. If this gets off hey, the no freeway, need to yell I really at me. worry what kind of Damn, damage brother. he could do on surface streets. So if they could keep him on Came the freeway, that'd be great. But for the time being, they are not even in the vicinity, and you could see the moves that he is doing here. I mean, this is very dangerous, very erratic driving. Almost Thanks hit that prime. car right there, cutting people Ill off, and, and he Lamas. doesn't even have any police behind him. No lights and sirens. He is just booking it at, you know, uh, you know, just going as fast as that truck will travel, I think, with the helicopters overhead. <clears throat> uh, I'm not sure yet, Finn. It depends. Maybe Wulong. Yeah, we're dealing with a lot of a lot of unconfirmed information. Obviously, we're speculating. Where is this one taking place? You Do you even need to ask? Rage, you have to wonder whether the person it's, it's is LA, in their right man. state of mind. Are they under the influence? That's where like every chase like happens that? now. Or is this a larger crime spree? Driving in LA right now is like driving in Spy Kids 3D. In it's all just like a giant fucking still race. That shoulder to get around the very few cars in his way. They're not really even in his way, but he is just about to off-road here to get around the few cars that there are in those express lanes. For some reason, he doesn't want to pull over to the right here. Again, he's got the whole freeway to himself. Why he's using that shoulder, I have no idea. But again, the information that we have received from police is that this LFC. was a road rage incident that resulted in a hit and run, and our assignment desk did get some information that this may also involve a robbery. So, again, this could be lar part of a larger crime spree, or this could just be, uh, uh, well, I think at this point it's fair to say this is a crime spree because now when you see somebody daring enough and brazen enough to carjack somebody in the middle of the day like that, at a gas station just to get away from the cops. Uh, obviously, this is somebody with uh, uh, probably, and we can't say this for sure, obviously, but probably, uh, uh, probably already. Yeah, no, I, I already know. I, I already know. Uh, when that happens, I'll go full cam. 
Or just skip ahead of it. Wait, he stole the truck Dude, and he's driving. Those main line, those main lanes are all I know. Full, so now he has to use those express lanes. The main lanes have backed up quickly. That traffic that he's flying past there is barely moving. He's still doing 100 miles per hour past all of those people as he approaches the 55 freeway. That's part of the reason that the freeway is slowed down right here. It's also a little bit of an incline here, so he is going against traffic. Again, a bulk of that rush hour traffic is coming eastbound. He is going westbound, but you're so right. The <laughs> further west he gets, the heavier traffic is going to get, and obviously the priority is to uh, end this somehow, but right now I don't see how because Please, the Prime Rango. have units in position. Is he going somewhere? The way it is, I don't, I don't know what his plan is. That eventually arrive here are gonna I'll, I'll all wager a guess now. he doesn't have a plan. So top. I don't think he's necessarily he's trying to make it to like Lester's he's shop or anything. He's just driving off pure instinct and in panic. Commits to the southbound side of the 55 freeway, I believe. Thanks, Resub Compton. I would have expected CHP the first. I would have expected CHP to be, to be the first people to arrive. Okay, uh, time to go full cam. Uh, I'll I'll take Chris's job for a minute and tell you what happens here. I know that it's around this point. Yep. What happens is the driver slows down, leans out of the window, and fires a fucking machine gun at the police behind him. So he leans out and fires, I, I believe it's just like a like a assault rifle, that's what it looks like, at the cops. And then he speeds off again. Rifle that just came out of that driver's side window, shooting back at those units. He just shot in the direction of those law enforcement units. That is believed to be Corona PD. I can't confirm that. That's believed to be yep. Corona PD. Right around a ton of just large, long cars everywhere. That came out of the driver's ton of, side of that very, car. very not good. Not this is not a good guy. All of those black and white if you can believe that. We're going to try and get on the south side of the, uh, of the freeway here. Get better eyes on the driver's side. But... Guys, we are dealing with, obviously, I mean, it goes without saying, we are dealing with a major, major criminal behind the wheel of this pickup truck. Right you are, Chris. A major criminal indeed. I would be inclined to agree with you there. I'd even go as far as to call this guy just a downright jerk. Pardon my French. I'll say it. And... Coming at us. He's coming at us now. He is. Look at this. Is he wearing a uniform? Is he wearing a uniform? I, I can't tell for sure. Or is it maybe a sports jersey? A uni what uniform would this be? What? I don't think I don't think he's wearing a uniform, Chris. I also don't even think it's a jersey. I think it's just like a normal shirt with some kind of brand on it. A civilian uniform. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know what uniform this would be. I don't know what Chris thought he saw there. Thought he was like some kind of decorated National Guard or something, I guess. I, I have no clue what he thought he saw on that one, but that just looks like normal attire. It's either a sport... Uh, maybe it's a... Uh, okay, it's just a t-shirt. Okay. I thought I saw, I thought I saw an arm <laughs> patch there. Excuse me. Yeah, I, oh, I just... Okay. It, it caught me off guard there. Now, obviously, an older gentleman with a goatee wearing a baseball cap. Man, is that a... Wait, what the fuck? Chris, do you, I think I know who this is. Isn't this um, the guy from Orange County Choppers? Yeah, Fuck I, is his I name? Just, it, it oh, man. Wait. Wow. That looks... It actually looks like shockingly close to that guy. What? What is his name? I can't remember it now. That goatee is iconic, and he's wearing a backwards cap, too. Here. Uh, what, what's his name? I just get a bunch of pictures of him. I don't get his name. What the fuck is it? Chat, what is it? Is 
It's not fucking Fred Durst. Don't be ridiculous. Fred Durst would never do this. Well, not 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 like the Orange County Chopper guy would, though. Why can't I find his name? I'll type in Orange County Chopper's main guy. Paul John Teetle. Tell me that... Tell me this doesn't look somewhat close. I, I might be onto something here. I'm I'm no like crack shot investigator, but I tell you there's something fishy afoot here. Me off guard there. Now, obviously, an older gentleman with a goatee wearing a baseball cap, and uh, it does look like maybe a sports jersey or a T-shirt that he's wearing with that gun in his lap. Uh, at Jesus least Christ. Yeah, he's got a gun in his. Oh, lap. he is wearing a jersey now, though. You were right about that, Chris. Next to him. The driver rolling down the window, taking his AirPods out. What the fuck is happening here? With another driver. Looks like he's asking for directions. He's asking for directions. <laughs> what the fuck? Avenue just off of the 55 freeway. And it looks what like did? he was trying to figure out where he is or where. What the fuck? That is. This is real life. If you showed me that in a movie, I wouldn't believe you. Wow. Where he's going, there are going to be multiple agencies now that are going to be tier one working cohesively, hopefully here, in the Pro in very short order, Woodchuck to put this and to an veteran, end. You're talking about Riverside County the Sheriff. Grinch. You're talking about Orange County Sheriffs. You're talking about Anaheim PD, Corona PD, the California Highway Hey, Patrol. buddy, how can I escape the police? Oh, point. yeah, if you just go up right there, there's a paint shop you can park in students. and you'll lose all your stars. I don't know if anybody was hit. It was just too... <laughs> Damn. It happened too fast and we did not get a good glimpse at the uh, pursuing officers there. But it appeared to be, from what I'm being told, a Corona PD officer that pulled in behind this pickup truck. And as he came to a stop in the middle of the transition there, he pulled out that assault rifle. And look at this, right through the red here, he's making a left turn on two. I think that's going to put him, is that onto the freeway, Rob? I can't tell. Is that a, it's a freeway entrance. Going to put him back onto the westbound side of the 91. He wants to get back onto the freeway. That's going to be the westbound 91 freeway. Driver's side window being rolled up now, guys. I think I already said that. Is this live right now? No, it ended an hour ago. I was getting tagged in it while I was lifting. Then I got kind of the cliff notes. <clears throat> Brunkle. That's a great name. They, they will stop at nothing. I, think that's I like it, Jay. Obvious at this point, even though we don't see any Thanks, Reese Sunray. In the picture just yet, that's going to change in the next few minutes. They have to work together and triangulate and catch More toss at 2830. Right, thank you. But that is going to change, and you're going to see lots of units pursuing this truck. They will even start performing traffic breaks to shut down the freeway if they have to. I'm being told as he shot back... At that Corona PD officer, the Prime Minister slice and Risa Dingus PD fired back at the pickup truck. Now you saw that close up to the driver's side there. It certainly appeared that he was not injured, but there were bullets flying in his direction. So a shootout there on the transition. Corona PD firing their weapons. There's a joke in Koala. Officer involved shooting. They stopped and he kept going again at triple digit speeds just as he's doing right now in the HOV lane. We again are on the westbound side of the 91 freeway. I don't see any. In fact, Rob, can you pull out? There might be one or two. There's, okay, there's a, that is going to be, uh, Dan, help me out here. Is that an unmarked CHP unit? That might be an unmarked. Let's go ahead and show me the white SUV really quick. White SUV, is that, that's a, that's a, I think that's a supervisor, right? That would be a CHP supervisor. No, that's a road, Chris. If I'm not mistaken. Under the freeway. It could be a canine or either a supervisor. Uh, in any case, that's the white SUV. You see that? That's CHP. There's another black unmarked unit that's behind him. So a couple of unmarked units. And then I think I saw a black and white. 
behind them. I'm sorry, there's a lot happening up here, guys. But from what I've counted, at least three units with their lights and sirens going. Why is he running? Two of them look like he fairly, stole the car, uh, shot at police officers, least, like, uh, and now he's just desperate to try and get cars. away. That's why he's uh, running. One of that may have even been a canine unit. In any event, they are pulling, not pulling back. They are a little bit behind him. Look at this, pulling right up on this person in the HOV lane, still looking for There's a way to squeeze us. through here. Slowing down with the traffic. It looks like he doesn't really have anywhere to go. Traffic's not exceptionally heavy. It's like moderate traffic right now. There's a, Basically, there's a comment with timestamps for every toss. Oh, good, that's he helpful. He really has nowhere to go with that, that center divider there. So oh, but this is spoilers for the other shit. I just need to avoid the toss stuff. Running never works, why would he do that? Well, he's obviously not very smart. <laughs> like, you have to be pretty fucking dumb to try. And you have to be even dumber to shoot at police. There's a prime Tyrone. And there's a Peter. Oh, that's awesome. Congrats, Wood. Thanks for your sub to me. Why does it still say suspect? <laughs> uh, it reminds me of what I read today, where Chris Brown picked up, or not Chris Brown, um, Travis Scott picked up a fan's phone and threw it, and it was videoed the entire way of C Travis Scott yeah, picking up the phone I, and throwing I, I, it, and they still said allegedly through, through the phone, case, I, even I, though you I can see it. It's verified, it's confirmed, but you still have to say suspect or alleged. That Which I think is very silly. Ways that we're used to seeing these pursuits end are probably not on the list. It was Chris Brown? No, 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 no. I mean, this isn't that important to pause it for, but no, no, no. You're thinking of something different. This, this actually happened twice. Chris Brown was giving a lap dance to a woman on stage who wouldn't stop being on her phone. So then after he was fucking dry thrusting his butthole on her leg, he picked up her, thro his, her phone and threw it. But Travis Scott was in the headlines today because during one of his sets... He took some fan's phone that was recording and threw it. It's two different instances. Here, I'll pull up the Travis Scott one. And I guess it's a uh, assault lawsuit because of it. Okay. Two different cases, but within 24 hours of each other, so I understand why most people would be getting it confused. Thanks if I give sub Spear. Appreciate it. And there is some Mercurius. That's old, isn't it? Oh, I don't know if it's old, but it just broke uh, today. Obviously, we have no idea how exactly it's going to come to an end, but the behavior that we are seeing here 19, is, let's just say, 20, next level. Okay. Uh, by the way, we are dealing Makes sense. with multiple agencies. Let me know when I'm getting close to one, just in case I lose track of time. This truck. So, and despite the Hatsune. information that we received about the, the road rage and the hit Appreciate run, that. that would be a serious enough charge that would warrant a lot of law enforcement, would no doubt. But if there was another robbery involved or whatever else, it certainly would make a lot of sense because there was already two helicopters overhead when we were hearing about this pursuit. It included Riverside County Sheriff and Ontario PD. Ontario is nowhere near here. So for Ontario to come down to Corona, that raises lots of questions. Corona PD involved... Is it just tossed because of the gunfire? Yeah. ...after their units had been fired at. And CHP, Nova. before he carjacked this vehicle, was already on the way out via ground and air units with their airplane to continue monitoring this pursuit. So he has had a lot of eyes on him for the last hour or so, and obviously things have only ramped up since then. So, again, the backstory here is going to be... What if he found that rifle in the car after stealing it? To fill in as to how
how all of wouldn't started, change it. It's not like the rifle flying. itself started they shooting at the officers. It doesn't have a mind of its own, like Soul Leader or anything. In any event, or at least quite serious. In any event, we find ourselves still on the 91 freeway, hugging that HOV lane, slowing down when he has to. Doesn't have a whole lot of pavement to play with in terms of that left shoulder, but uh, the freeway is going to start to slow down if he stays on the 91, or even if he takes the, uh, let's see, he's coming up. Is recent prophecy? I want to say he's coming up on the 5, right? Yeah, he's coming up on the 5 freeway. Uh, that'll be a big decision for him. He might commit to the 91, uh, which I think if he stays in that lane... This is a new one. Just an happened option. an hour ago, yeah. I just saw that sign. I think he still has the option of staying on the 91 or getting off and getting onto the 5 freeway. He's over the goal He's point, thinking about six. it. Thinking about switching over, and I think... Pushing on that sign right there. So if he stays on the uh, on the left side, if he stays in that left lane, that'll put him on the 91, right side onto the 5. He's staying left, taking the left lane onto the 91, so staying on the 91 westbound, uh, where traffic is a the tier little one bit gallon. lighter, or I will say, for the next couple of miles. The resub Soma. Cameraman better be getting paid well. Well, Cameraman and Chris, they're a great team. They work really well together. The coverage they provide of car chases is like Super Bowl level. I mean, you know, just with the knowledge of the high caliber weapon that he's got in his lap there, you just, and, and the way he's willing to use it, if he's willing to fire at police officers, He's willing to fire at anybody who gets in his way. And that's why, as you guys are talking about, it's so dangerous to be anywhere near this. Is there a feed and a bungee? If at the very least, they could get more units to and shut tier down the freeway, scuba. that would be the ideal. I mean, that, by my, by my, from my perspective, would be the number one thing that they should be doing is shutting down <clears> the freeway. I will leave them to make that call, leave it to them. But... Uh, right now, I don't see even those other CHP units that we saw. They have fallen the way back squared in he's neon. continued these ridiculous speeds. And yeah, I'm very excited for Wulong. Thanks to the GIF sub ethereal. Okay, hold on. We're about to come up to the next toss moment, so let me just skip by it. Oh, no, never mind. Wrong one. This is... This is him just barely... It, it wasn't him firing, this is him barely missing this red miles. car. And may, oh, really, uh, I mean, that this is a top-heavy vehicle, as you obviously know, and he is taking some of these lane changes really, really fast. So uh, he is obviously very agitated. It's 28, His yeah. His adrenaline must be through the roof. Thanks and, reset, uh, you boy. there's Artesia Boulevard, it looks like. Getting off at Artesia. Do you hear about the car chase? <laughs> yeah, I've heard about it. Red light through the light, cutting Oof. off somebody going in oncoming lanes of traffic, westbound Artesia Boulevard, coming up to another red light with lots of cross traffic, going through the red light again in the wrong lanes. He's going the wrong way on Artesia Boulevard. Oh, you know those horns are ripping at the him. Road there, continuing westbound Artesia He's got to be so embarrassed. Guys, what we don't see here the is ultimate shame. Law enforcement yet. None. None of them were able to get off the freeway with him. We have not seen any law enforcement for several minutes. This is so scary. Next to the resub nano. I think so. I'm pretty sure I've seen that one nano. So 
Surprised he hasn't been shot by another driver. You can't Man, he what? Hasn't established any kind of a pattern, Why would he? It's so not like they know that this guy's a criminal. In this situation, it's not like they put out an uh, APB over the I, fucking I radio where it hijacked every car's system and just blasted. Be on the lookout for a black pickup truck. Open fire on them if you can. Uh, SUV, perhaps a different agency. Can't confirm that. Another black and white behind him. Look at him doing 90 miles per hour on, on surface streets here. About There's a tier one machine and the 15 gift subs Boulevard. loser Coming cruiser. Thank you for that. Another red light here. Appreciate that. Thank you, cruiser. And go through. Watch this. He's coming up to the crosswalk and now inching his way through here, slowing down for the cross traffic and continuing westbound Artesia with those units behind him. And the bits fin. Oof. Oh boy. Jesus. Is it Prime Philo? This might be the worst time of the day to see this happening. I mean, yeah, this is this is terrifying with how many people are walking around. People getting off school, as you said. People coming home from work. The streets are obviously very busy. We haven't seen a whole lot of pedestrian traffic here, but he is putting so many lives in danger. And I just here worry the prime about left what the happens when demand. he comes to another stop. If he feels threatened or if he stops the vehicle once again, what I mean, his options are going to be limited. But he's the one with the gun, and so you know. Oh, oh! Forget about it. I mean, he's blowing through. He's slowing down for some intersections and blowing right through others. It just takes one wrong move if you have cross traffic coming through. Here's some taco. So look at this, threading the double yellow line into oncoming lanes of Artesia Boulevard again, just trying to get past the couple of vehicles here. It's not even like a big traffic jam. He is just. Trying yeah, he's just to a to fucking idiot. Those units. What was uh, that? <laughs> what the fuck that. was that? This guy is just an absolute maniac. I can't believe it. Oh my god. I mean, my mind immediately goes to the wild and crazy chase we covered in Fullerton just a few months There's ago back in November. One has seat we in the all know table. how that one ended a much different situation, but still, I mean, that was where we literally saw three carjackings in one afternoon in one pursuit. So, you know, this guy's limited. Look at people biking across the street here. He's taking a left turn. Left three turn carjackings in one afternoon, on the huh? Southbound side of Woodruff Avenue. Southbound side of I... Woodruff, where he... I can't even say I'm surprised. Figured, Let me just get off of Artesia here. He made a wild left there, and when we can, we'll pull back. We saw that one. It wasn't three. The one we watched had two, unless one of them was off stream. From the looks of it, I would say uh, not yet. Look at this. It was the van. There was only. Oh Jesus Christ! Look at this. A whole group of kids crossing Holy the street. Holy shit! Letting out here. This is the worst. This is the worst. Uh, this is the worst. Let's just. Oh, he's gonna try and fucking inch his way through. At a slow clip here, lets the kids cross and just keeps going. Nobody here has any idea. What the what fuck? Has happened or what is going on inside that pickup truck? Please just keep going. Please just keep going. He's stopping. He's stopping. He's trying to maybe that is, if I was watching this live, I would have been panicking. There are a bunch of units now. There they are. They've caught up now. A whole different story as they're going to, okay. So I, the first question I have, uh, and Rob will help me out with this when he can. Uh, I want to, and, and with the help of our desk, classic I Yeti in the prime idea of what other agencies are involved here because like i said earlier there are going to be numerous agencies as there likely were right there just at that intersection alone uh, a, a, a whole bunch of uh, different agencies certainly were in cerritos's jurisdiction so there some cerritos pd that was actually corona and anaheim still i'm being told still corona and anaheim still the primary agencies here that have managed to catch up with him here in Cerritos now and the turn or bird. On to, uh, let's, this guy's making a pickup look like a Ferrari Avenue. a Ferrari uh, we'll yeah from that here in a second that's South Street made a uh, turn on this pickup is much faster street. than I would have expected news, guys 
is that there were about a half a dozen, at least a half a dozen There's armed Brian units Reverb and the resub behind Mikey. them that they will be in a position Josh. now to uh, mitigate whatever we are about to see here. But here he is, face to face, in oncoming lanes of This is a fucking wild chase. He has spent more time in the wrong lane than he has in the right one. Those units are going to, I mean, what are the options? Oh my god. wonder, what are the options for these units? They are ready for anything, but how do they strategize to bring this to an end any quicker than we see any other chase? Because this guy has to be taken off the road. As soon this as is also one of the... Okay, hold on. I already know TOS is coming up because I know he shoots again. No one. Get, I know no one gets hit. I'm just, I just, I, I don't want to take any chances here. Okay, I think that's the end of that. Okay, yeah. Let me see if Donatello. Okay. Thanks, Resub Synth and the Prime Flamboyant and Resub Ryan. Of those officers. Police should use grapple hooks. I actually said that, like, a day ago. They should have these kind of almost twisted metal-like vehicles where it shoots out like a grappling hour, harpoon Tommy or something, like, like almost a Batman device, into the back of it and they just reel it in. That's what I said. That shit would be incredible. They shoot nets. I've never seen that, uh, I, so I don't know what that's referring to. We're in Lakewood, and you start to see a little bit of smoke coming from the brakes as he, he a hard brake there as he came up on that intersection. Uh, so a little bit too hard. You saw a little bit of smoke emanating, and yet now he's continuing through uh, Lake through Delamo rather. He's Mr. Ninety Eight. Northbound. I'm sorry. Northbound Bellflower through all of these red lights, hoping. Because this is one of the very few chases where I completely understand why the authorities haven't been able to stop him yet. He's not only heavily armed, but it's heavily populated the areas he's going through, so they can't pit maneuver him. They can't engage in a shootout because there's too many potential victims that are just getting hit in crossfire. They really can't do anything here. I totally get it. They can't spike trap him because they, they can't catch up to him and get ahead of him, and they'd probably still hit other cars in the crossfire with it. Like, their options are super limited. This one I totally get. If he was able to see those officers from the position where he shot that gun, that was fairly close range. Certainly hope for the best for those officers. We're continuing through another major intersection, the wrong way through another red light. A sniper from the helicopter. Jesus Christ. This, this isn't a video game. Like, that would be the most unreal shot of all time. Like, this is perfect. Look at how far out the helicopter is. We're zoomed in heavily. That shot would be crazy. You'd have to lead the shot by an unreal margin, and the vehicle's going over 100 miles per hour with fluctuating speeds. Chris could do it. Yeah, maybe Chris could do it. So, that's the given that I could tell you. But how we get to that point is certainly up for grabs. Are so boop, bad gamer, and ghost. The bits stank in Mac. They should just paint fake tunnels on the walls like Looney Tunes. That'll get them. Oh, some Wiley Coyote shit. They just paint like escape tunnel here, police not allowed, and it's just a wall they run into. Yeah, that could work. Why haven't they tried that? By the way, I have to correct myself. I said northbound. He's traveling southbound. On Bellflower, I think for the last couple of minutes I was saying northbound. He's traveling. Oh, 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 hold on. No, 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 not yet. 
southbound ever since he made that turn out of that neighborhood. So traveling uh, closer to uh, Seal Beach here. As he's he a tier one shade. Wood and now continuing here, uh, slowing down where he has to, but really with no hesitation, jumping into the wrong lanes of traffic and continuing to blow through red lights. I apologize, Ellen, you mentioned something there. You asked me a question. I didn't quite catch it. What, what was tier that? one literal WR. We should have an EMP harpoon thing like from Fast and Furious that disables the car's computer. <clears throat> well, it's a good question, and there it is. There I actually totally forgot about he's that. That was when Fast and Furious was almost still grounded in reality, too. I think that was the second movie. Of the 405. It sure is. It they shoot sure the is. EMP he's darts. The 405 northbound, and we are back on the freeway. The good news with this, uh, aside from the obvious, is that CHP will now be with maybe a little bit of luck on their side, maybe in a better position to shut down the freeway at least shut down the, the freeway prime. behind him potentially Narisa Braden and the shut down the freeway ahead of him but this is an all hands on deck situation they will use every unit at their disposal to shut down the freeway i have to believe that's the case Someone in chat said this happens so much, but this has happened since cars were a household item. We just have live feeds of it now. That's what I wondered as well, because very clearly the amount of live footage of these car chases has escalated drastically over the last year or so. And I was wondering if it's always been like this in LA or if it's just now being broadcast this often. Because I don't live in LA. I don't know how common uh, police chases are there. Go back to the plane? What do you mean to the plane? Did he put in a cheat code and get a plane to spawn? What? Sorry, I was looking at chat where... Did I miss it or did I not go back far enough? At least shut down the f in there here. Uh, Ellen, you mentioned something there. You asked me a question. I didn't quite catch it. What, what was that? Things resub Spencer, Mitch, and Mr. T and Chu. <clears throat> it's when he gets onto the freeway. Question. There it is. There it is. The 405. He's jumping on the 405. And that, I think, will be the northbound side of the 405. It sure is. It sure is. He is taking the 405 northbound, and we are back on the freeway. The good news with this, uh, aside from the obvious, is that CHP will now be with maybe a little bit of luck on their side, maybe in a better position to shut down the freeway. At least shut down the freeway behind him, potentially even shut down the freeway ahead of him. But this is an all hands on deck situation. They will did use every it, am I, Did I go back far enough or is it not come up yet? I have to believe that's did I miss it again? Oh, there it is. Shameless, shameless Southwest marketing. No, I didn't know Attack on Titan started today, so I'm going to watch the episode tomorrow. They are going to have to call in. My, my anticipation here, uh, with limited knowledge, uh, and, I, and I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, obviously, guys, but the only practical thing that I could think of, uh, and there happens to be one nearby, is for the LA County Sheriff's Department, for example, to bring in one of their armored Bearcat vehicles. Presumably, they will need to bring That's in still extremely dangerous, armored though. vehicles to surround this truck. But this is a situation where a pit maneuver ain't gonna happen, spike strips are out of the question, all of the things that we're used to seeing, throw that book away. Just take that text. That's exactly what I was saying, Chris. Window. I think this is gonna require multiple armored vehicles, ultimately, to surround this truck 
and potentially box it in unless this comes to an end some other way sooner. But in the meantime, those units are following from a distance. They don't want to get up right behind them, as you mentioned, Alan, because obviously every time they do that, they end up getting shot at. So nobody wants to see that again. They're going to stay back a little bit, not too far. They don't want to lose them, but they will pull back a little bit so they're ready for the end here. And now he's off of the freeway at Temple Avenue, by the way, maybe getting back on. There's an opportunity if he makes the right here, <coughs> another entrance ramp. Uh, I believe. Did they, could the they use a giant turn, magnet right to turn, stick to the uh, car? To Willow Street. You talking Westbound about from a helicopter? Take like a giant uh, magnet to the top the of it and try and lift it? Slowing down a little bit compared to the driving we've seen earlier on surface. Another interesting cartoonish yeah, suggestion, I suppose. Westbound, uh, closer to the Long Beach city limits. That's probably exactly what was going through his head when he got off the freeway because it was already starting to slow down. And as we've said already a few times, this is the worst time of the day, not only for pedestrians, but traffic wise and just the potential for risk here is just through the roof. So again, making another random turn appears to be a random left turn. Okay, it's coming up on toss. Let me skip that. Jesus. Maybe firing Tell us what happens. The, oh, is this of that another truck. little... I don't know what he was firing at. A little, uh... Like gunshots from, uh, going off. From, from the, it's from no good. Here, it Bad like stuff. Firing out of the vehicle. Again, I don't know what he was pointing at, but... More Things shots fired here on PCH. <clears throat> I think that is the last one. Handgun? No, he's got an assault rifle. Man's got like a goddamn machine gun in there. Yep, we're gonna stay on the uh, driver's side of the vehicle. Here five subs subs in him. Another major intersection. Uh, what was unclear there is what he was shooting at, because if he was willing to fire through his own windshield, he Nicholas. must have had a target that he was pointing at. We did not see where those bullets ultimately landed. This is the third separate Here's shooting women. by my count. This is the third separate shooting by my count, and uh, quite frankly, guys, we don't know if anybody has been struck by gunfire over the course of this pursuit yet. It's certainly possible, we just don't have that information yet. It doesn't end in shots? It actually doesn't. Usually, when someone shoots at a police officer, it ends with, like, fucking a thousand mag dumps. In this case, it didn't. I know that, uh, that when I got tagged on Twitter about this, they made sure to mention that. So I know it doesn't end with that. Why spoil? Well, because I... I, I mean, I couldn't watch that if that was the case. Was this recent? Yeah, it was an hour... Well, two hours ago now. Is your shit wearing off? No idea how much gas is in this truck. If I remember correctly, they said at the beginning that he actually carjacked this from a gas station. So it might have just a fresh tank. That's very possible. Exit Prime AS and give sub Rocky and resub Lemon. <laughs> now you're getting wacky with it, Jay. Thanks to the resub Coco.
Don't understand why people run away like this. All they're doing is adding time to their jail sentence. Yeah, you see what you're doing, though? You're, you're already thinking, which is more than what these people do. This fucking inbred goofball not only carjacked a, a pickup truck, but then opened fire on officers. He'll never see the light of day. It's a miracle he didn't get executed by the cops. Like, these are not smart people. What happened to the audio? Why are you whispering now, Chris? Why is this ASMR? The 710 freeway. There is the possibility that he aims towards the 110 freeway and decides to get on the Harbor freeway. And then at that point, he has more options. But in the meantime, we have bypassed the 710. He is still committed to PCH. And anytime you see any traffic in his way, still pulling the same tactic of jumping over the double yellow lines into oncoming lanes of traffic, blowing right through the red lights. The dangerous driving continues, but quite frankly, the scariest moments are when he pulls into a stop or slows down. So I don't know what's worse at this point with this guy. They just need... Uh, they need is this California? If so, he'll be out in a week. I asked this question during our first chase because I just don't know enough about like how California enforces crime like this. I asked if it was soft on crime. Most people said no. So, I don't know. But I will tell you, this guy, no shot. He has opened fire on officers three separate times and endangered the public countless times during the chase. Zero percent chance, no matter how soft on crime they are. If they are. I have a law enforcement officer sitting right next to me who was flying Air 7 this afternoon, Dan, who has 30 years of experience with LAPD. Would I be correct, Dan, in saying that they would be... Uh, it would be almost uh, likely at this point that a supervisor has authorized uh, the use of force to fire into that vehicle. Yeah, at, at this point, it's fair to say that gunfire EMP may and very well be fired and in his direction noob. if they can get in the bits to yeah, it is. to bring to an end. That is certainly a possibility. Uh, a more peaceful resolution would be if they could somehow uh, disable this truck some other way with an armored vehicle. Uh, but juice boy. the way he's driving and the do the people that get damaged by this man have to pay the damage by themselves, or how does it work in America? I asked that same question, too, and I can't remember what the answer was, because the first chase we watched, the guy ran into, like, two civilian... or a guy stole two civilian vehicles, and both of them got fucked up. I think they had to do GoFundMes to reimburse the cash, so the public paid for it for people that wanted to be, you know, helpful. I don't think they actually reimburse. Insurance? Oh, true. Maybe in that case it was just a lack of insurance then. Yeah, good point. But I don't think the onus is on the department to reimburse the public. Exhibits Rocky in the resub game in SKZ. Makes the prime variable. You there, Chris? I think he's uh, lubricating the gears. His throat might be sore from casting for about an hour now already. <clears throat> he puts it all on the line. He's working just as hard as the the officers engaged in the chase. Guys. I'm not even sure if you can hear me. If you can hear me, I can hear you, Chris. Uh, we're still on PCH. Uh, we've come underneath the 110 freeway. We have left. Uh, uh, the jurisdiction of Long Beach, and we're now in, I believe, uh, either L.A. County's Carson jurisdiction or potentially even Torrance as we make our way further west along PCH. Again, I know we're having communication issues. I cannot hear you guys right now, but the chase is continuing with several units behind. Whoa! Shit.
It's actually here. Hold on, I know the toss coming up, so I'll just skip by that anyway. Oh no, he does. The next toss is more shooting. I thought it was something else. Oh wow! So reading, someone did timestamps of like toss moments. The next one was the fourth shooting, but they believe that that actually came from the police chopper while he was slowing down. Because apparently he did, it, it seems like he did actually get hit at that moment because he started driving erratically. Yeah, maybe. Wow. Wow. Yeah, 100%. Holy fuck, they blasted him with a goddamn musket. Jesus Christ. Obviously can't show it on stream, but just seconds ago, a giant like blast came off of the off of the truck and you could even hear it through the scuffed audio from ABC here since they're having audio problems. It actually sounded like a goddamn elephant gun. Coming to a stop, coming to a stop. Oh, actually, okay, actually, hold on. I don't think I can show this because apparently he was bleeding from it. Oh, wait, that that's not yet. Oh, no, he, that was a little bait and switch. He must have rubbed dirt in his, his wounds and then continued. They can't hear me, right? <laughs> Thanks to the five gift subs, Rocky. Yeah, I don't know what they shot him with. It must have been a fucking blunderbuss, though, because the, the shockwave has to come down. Take wow. copter off. Damn, Chris, the shockwave on top of the truck was huge. Oh God! Speaking of huge, thank you, Rod. Christ, thank you for the fifty gift subs again, man. Good Lord, thank you, Rod. Really appreciate that. <clears throat> Nothing. I hope you had a good day, man. <clears throat> There's a resub courage. So the chatter who said sniping from the helicopter was right. Yeah, I guess fucking so, actually. They're all following, okay. Oh yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll eat crow on that one. I'll eat some shit there. Yeah, apparently the chatter who said, why not just snipe him from the helicopter, 100% was right. They actually did that. Which is a crazy shot. Well, I, to be fair though, he wasn't really moving when they pulled the shot off. So they might have just been waiting for the right time. What caused the chase? Carjacking, and then uh, he shot at the officers. Oof! Oof! Oh, Alright, hold on, now I know this is coming up. Damn! I don't even think that officer knew there was a chase going on. <laughs> The dude was just kind of hanging out. He was like, man, today's been really uneventful. Not much going on in the department. Pff, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jeepers. Zoinks. All right. But yeah, he apparently gets out and there's some blood. So I need to skip past that. I don't, it says there's blood, but I don't see any.
This seems like it should be fine. So, hold on, hold on. Let me just... I, I, I want to make sure. But it looks like there's no blood here. Yeah, it doesn't... It really doesn't seem like there's any blood. Like, I'm going frame by frame. Can someone else check on their end? Yeah, blood would be tossed. That's why I've got to avoid it. I don't see it. Oh, it's after he gets taken down is where the blood is? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. It's at, okay. So everything up till the takedown looks fine. Okay, yeah, so here, I can show you the whole foot chase because, wow. Right. I'll tell you one thing, this oh, guy was gosh. no star yes. running back Suspect. for his he's football running team. Without the gun. running without the gun. They're going to take him down here, he's now That is Avenue. rough oh, form. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, he's on foot trying to But he immediately else. goes to try and carjack, to carjack someone else. else. Also, I will say, so, sorry, to, sorry to immediately blue ball you, I want to point this out. This man's got that, like, mid-90s swag. He's got the snapback slightly off to the side. He looks like he's part of, like, an old b-boy troop. Crazy drip. Whoa. Yep. Okay, now I've got to stop. They, they dog pile on top of him, though. And then you can see some blood on his shirt. past that <laughs> okay there's no blood here what the fuck is this a hey I'll, I'll i'm not familiar with normal protocol but but do they usually do this like a get them up here like a like a wild hog wrangling <laughs> the fuck? it's like a prized fish Even Chris is stunned. Open my tackle box. Uh, FM1 is on 4. FM2 is on 5. The volumes, yeah. Uh, both, uh, both say ICOM. Wow. Uh, that that was a so fucking cool. crazy chase. Knocked his ass out. It didn't look like he was knocked out, but maybe he was. It's it's very possible. Yeah, I, may, that would explain it. Can't believe he took. The, I can't believe he didn't take the gun. I'm happy he didn't. Did anybody get hurt? Maybe the cop might have gotten hurt. Huh? Was it a bad hit? I almost missed it. <clears throat> Did he carjack a police truck? No, he hit a police truck. I'm pretty sure that officer was... He didn't even know where that chase was going. He was just in the area and then just got clipped. But he ended up being the hero. He finally stopped this madman. Actually, that was... I, I Apparently, they arrest some random person at the end, so I guess we'll go to that in a second. But unironically, that officer... He's like Luigi. He won by kind of just doing nothing but being in the right place at the right time. So this right here was actual best case scenario. You couldn't have drawn this up any better. I'm pretty sure he doesn't even clip the civilian vehicle to his left. Nope. Doesn't even hit the truck to his left. Only the side of the police car and then a right into the pole. Only him. Only the criminal. That was actually the best possible scenario for that.
That is wild. He was trying to block him, was he? Let me see. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he, did, he turned his car into him. I thought he was just in this other lane. Yeah, you're right. No, he, he does make an effort to turn the car into him. Good eye. I didn't even catch that. Well, no, actually, wait, no. He, he even tries to turn his car away at the last second. I really don't think he saw it coming. I really don't. Like, cause he, he did make an effort to turn away. Either way, the man's a fucking hero. I ju I, I'm not sure how much of that was calculated, but it worked out beautifully. He would have died. True. Maybe that. Maybe that is like. Maybe that's how they teach you to do it. Perhaps. I don't know. I don't have the training. Either way, absolute fucking hero from this cop. Oh. Oh. That couldn't have been any better. No one else got involved in it. Just the cop and the criminal. And the criminal obviously took the brunt of it. Hopefully the cops are right. Hopefully they didn't get like whiplash or anything from it. I have no doubt that probably saved lives too, because this guy was unhinged, just actually shooting into crowds. Well, shooting at cops around crowds. So that man really did save the day. Oh, I fast forwarded a little too far. It does look like they've just taken in some completely unrelated guy. He must have been getting rowdy or something. I have no idea. What? 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 I don't know why. Is he reset Blorbin? He refused to leave. Oh. Gotcha. I don't know why. I mean, you could just go behind the caution tape. You can still get the TikTok video. I don't know what the point would be in making a big fuss about staying there if that was the case. Nightcrawler. <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what it was. There's was like 15 cops there. Well, yeah, man, the guy was fucking fully armed. He, he was firing an assault rifle back at them. Of course they're going to get out a ton of cars. This was a crazy chase. Absolutely there's going to be a ton of cops. It was three jurisdictions. Makes sense. Not surprising. Thanks, you said Majestic, Weevil, and the Prime, Swift, Thrall, and Bits, Finn, and Chris. I know. We were talking about that a minute ago, Chris. Thanks, you said Breaker. And the Prime... Puss. And that's why I'll never move to LA. I don't know if it's an LA only thing. Maybe they're just the only ones that have turned it into a like a spectator sport. I, I don't know if there's chases this common in other major areas as well. But yeah, it is very much dominated by LA right now. Are some funky. The more it's televised, the more people do it. See, I would normally agree with you in a case like when it comes to, I don't know, publicizing petty crime or something, but a chase isn't a petty crime and you don't get like any clout from it. You just get an extremely long jail time. Like this guy, he will never see the light of day again. So I just can't imagine anyone would throw it away when they don't... Like, there's no... I don't know any of any of the other Chase's, um, uh, criminal. Like, I, I don't know their name. No one does. They don't even bother to publicize their name. So, I, I don't see that making people want to go on Chase's in L.A. Because you get actually nothing out of it except a jail sentence and they don't even release your name.
Thanks for the five gift subs again, Venom. I appreciate that. And the resub J, Twisted, Slick, Fool, Sadistic, and Tier 1 Carlito. And the bits Tori and Chris. And nothing too recently, Chris. And the Tier 1 Darth. And the five gift subs, Cajun. Thank you, Cajun. And there you said Mario and Tier 1 Hunter and the bits tech. And there's the resub Inquisition. Grind time. Are we grinding? Let me see, let me check this cord. <laughs> 